What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we gotta talk about how savage Drew McIntyre has been on social media ever since he uh, had his uh, promo segment with CM Punk, and he was savage then, but he has just been on a roll every single day so far. He is literally disrespected CM Punk in the most disrespectful way possible and I love what they're doing and I don't know if you guys have been paying attention but lately WWE has been having their um, wrestlers incorporate storylines into their social media again we've seen it before in the past but they've, they've lately have been really doing that. Uh, recently with uh, Logan Paul and Kevin Owens before their match at the Royal Rumble. You know, Logan Paul happened to be streaming or well, live streaming on Instagram. Or well, he went live on Instagram at the Performance Center. Kevin Owens was there and they had an impromptu brawl. And I like that because we live in a time period where, you know, it's kind of hard to keep kayfabe alive. So the fact that Drew is standing on business even on Twitter is just insane or X however you if you still call it Twitter you know some call it Twitter you can call it X whatever he's still standing on business man and we got to check this out because I'm not even gonna lie to you they they are doing a fantastic job with Drew as just becoming this this asshole heel that believes that he's doing a good thing even though he's being a prick and i love it it's this has probably been some of drew's best character work in quite some time we've been seeing the heel turn over these past few weeks or actually a few months but once cm punk got injured and he really addressed how he felt oh he has been on and just demon time and i can appreciate a real good heel especially in today's wrestling where they they really make you want to hate them and and that's a good thing so we're gonna get right into this i gotta show y'all these tweets bro because this is just drew must be stopped he is he's on a another time right now so this is on drew mcintyre's uh twitter so this was like the day after the monday night raw segment and as you can see the infamous meme CM Punk's, let me let me click on this. Y'all gotta see this. See this. CM Punk's WrestleMania main event 2024-2024. Just just despicable. Just just a vile human being. And then WWE uh posted um Get Well CM Punk, right? So WWE posts that. Get well uh soon CM Punk. And the infamous Jordan laughing meme, bro. Just does not care. This was all in the same day. Then I said this too when I initially talked about this. He basically said he prayed for times like this. Well, he prayed that, you know, CM Punk would get injured. And then, of course, he hits the... I used to pray for times like this, the ROM like this. Of course, he... He posts the Meek Mill meme, you know what I'm saying, with the, the Jordan winning the championship. Like, bro, I'm like, it's funny because I, I brought that meme up and then he actually posted it. I'm like, oh, my God, this nigga, he is just insane. So then WWE posted this clip right here as uh, CM Punk and, and, uh, and Cody embrace each other. And, he you know, he tells him to. Go finish his story, right? Cool. Look at this motherfucker, bro. This was the shot right after he attacked CM Punk and, and Sammy came out there to help. Just evil. Just pure evil. Look at this guy. He's he's happy about this, bro. And then it gets even better. Hold on. I got to show y'all this clip. This, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. We got to play this from the beginning. This was today. Well, yesterday, as of me filming this, bro. Just look at how it starts. Never skip tricep day. Ah, oh, Drew, you, 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 you want to get packed. You want to get packed up when he come back. If I'm CM Punk, 
and I'm seeing this all on social media. After my surgery, I'm rehabbing like a madman, and I'm going to find my way to make sure you get packed up. I would purposely wait till you potentially about to win a championship, and I'm going to come out there, and I'm going to screw you over. I won't even have them play the music. I'm going to just come out there in a hoodie, a black hoodie, because you know when wrestlers walk around the arena in a black hoodie, it's like they're invisible to security, hop the barricade, screw you over. Ah, oh, right when you about to win the championship. Ah, oh, bro. Ah. Oh. Or do the same thing Solo did to him when uh, he was about to potentially beat Roman Reigns and Solo came out there and pulled a referee out. I do the exact same thing oh my god we but y'all gotta see this 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 is where he takes the disrespect to a whole new level if you haven't seen this this is on his tiktok like he's just trolling this guy on all his social medias hold on never skip tricep day drinking a prime at that and he's petting the cat Bro, <laughs> this is so sick. He's playing dreams and nightmares at the gym. Yo, <laughs> that's so fucked up. You ready? Oh. Time to tear up those triceps. But wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What did he just say? Hold on. Tear up those triceps. Time to tear up those triceps. It's time to tear up them triceps, bro. Oh my god. And then he winked. Bro. And then they zoom in on the tricep. Bro. Bro, that's so This nigga must be stopped. Bro. He must. Bro, he must, he must be stopped. He needs to be taken care of. He needs to be taken out, bro. Don't injure me. Then cut a promo on me saying you prayed for this. Only to then attack me. Only to then the day after and, and just constantly posting tweets and videos making fun of my injury. Only to then now all of a sudden start listening to Meek Mill. I'm, I'm willing to bet some money Meek Mill had never heard about that song until people were probably sending it to him. And now you working out your triceps of all muscle groups while listening to Dreams and Nightmares? Aye, bro. Aye, bro. Everybody got to get the smoke. The cameraman got to get the smoke that recorded that video. That random ass cat got to get the smoke too. Everybody get the smoke. And then especially you, Drew. Especially you. You got to get the biggest smoke. You got to get taken. You got to get dealt with. But I love it. I love what they're doing. This is giving Drew McIntyre so much more character boost and, and people being invested. He honestly... Outside of Roman Reigns, and even though I think Roman Reigns' heel run is it's kind of stale, to be honest with you. Um, I think Gunther is definitely up there as one of the better heels, especially what what they've been doing with Imperium and how dangerous they've been uh, been. But right now, CM Punk, I thought CM Punk, Drew McIntyre may be the biggest heel potentially in WWE. He's becoming the biggest heel right now and i'm all for it the question is what will come from this will he end up facing seth rollins at this year's wrestlemania and finishing punk's story and beating him for the title i don't know but right now i'm loving this drew is being a ultimate menace and i'm here for it and it's gonna be that much sweeter when cm punk comes back and packs him up he has to my man's is playing dreams and nightmares like it's nothing. Just the disrespect. Comment down below. Let me know. Are you guys loving 
what Drew McIntyre is doing on social media. Because I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> it's messed up. But it's working for his heel character. Because, man, he, he is a, a despicable human being right now. And people are loving it. So, comment down below. Let me know if you guys are enjoying what they're doing with Drew McIntyre. And, and what he's doing on social media. Trolling CM Punk. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel. Road to 150k. And I'm still young. Speed the YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.